Hey everyone, so as by the title it states that I have a new thing. Um, so I'll go get it and yeah, we'll start talking about it. Um, so I ordered this online, I didn't get it from a retailer because most retailers are out of stock. Um, keep in mind that I've already modded it. If you can already tell what it is, it's this big boy. Um, so this is the M249 saw or M249 Minimi. Um, this is a gel blaster, obviously. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have it. Um, so basically I bought this two, three weeks ago for pretty cheap. Um, and they sent it out pretty quickly, which I'm actually really happy about. Um, the only sad bit is it's still made of plastic, which is a good thing because these tons in real life weigh a fucking ton. Um, if you use cunts want to argue with me, I've fucking had it held here, there, 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 held one. Um, I can't show you a photo because I don't have the photos anymore. Um, my mate's got them at his house, actually, um, from military background. Okay. Um, so basically, when the real ones, they're a lot more fun, and this doesn't even have the proper carry handle. And doesn't have the shells. Not happy about it, but I'll get fake ones and make it look a bit better and more aesthetically pleasing. Unfortunately, I will have to custom make a new carry handle, but this has already been modded already, as in the gearbox is still a Gen 8 style gearbox with a 460 motor um, and now has metal gears and a. <laughs> um, Hitachi uh, 460 motor that I found laying around. Um, then I've also put a aluminium barrel in it because it had the shitty plastic one, obviously. And yeah, went from there. Um, I do not have a hop up on this yet. Um, I will put a hop up on it, but there's also news following this. Um, as soon as I get to that, I will be very happy and fucking attack age Discord decides to come up. Anyway, um, haven't ran this yet, but do already love the performance. I can run this with a 11 volt battery, which makes it run perfect. Seven, it's like a, sounds like a um, 50, which this isn't a 50, it is a 556 from memory. So um, it comes with cheap, shitty, annoying fucking plastic fucking annoying these are plastic this is abs plastic because i slightly burnt it a little bit and smelt straight away plastic um but basically this is a shitty plastic fucking shit um but i'll put a proper better one on it eventually um but yeah uh, unfortunately, they did not make the mag priming work or even the racking on this work, which I would have actually been excited about because just pulling that fucker back would just feel ten times better. Um, in saying that, you can still fit about, I don't know, probably over a thousand to ten thousand, over a ten thousand, around ten thousand gels, I'll say, because I fit a whole packet in there literally the other day. Um, in saying that, to take it apart, you will have to take the stock off, obviously, take the mag out, and with a little smart, this handguard actually comes off very easily, and then you got the thing. Um, so there is screws from all the way down to the bottom. Um, the back is the standard, um, stock, which actually does feel comfortable but the only problem was the butt pad which I am no longer running with this blaster standard connector fucking shitty twin fucking connector um, I took the butt pad off because um, when I do chuck the 11 volt battery in it is um, I'll explain it this way the butt pad you had to screw on with an allen key and I'm not carrying around a fucking allen key on us basically a big field so 
Whoever designed this, I can't fucking remember. Better design needed. Big time. Um, I would love to see more designs of a LMG or MMG come out soon. Um, hopefully the PRK will be out hopefully next year from what I'm seeing um, as they have started working on it. Um, I've also started working on my own um, blaster called the AS Val or the VSS. Um, technically it's the same gun except one just has a bigger mag and different style of system. Still technically the same gun though. Um, I'm not going to argue about it. It's still technically the same fucking gun. Same guys that created it. Same guys that run it. Russians. Um, but anyway, back to this. Um, I chucked a dot sight on it just because, one, it's a bit aesthetically pleasing and it's a bit more accurate with a dot. Um, compared to its shitty plastic... Yeah, you can say it. Shitty plastic fucking shit. Um... Yeah, I thought we were getting over the ABS plastic shitty sights that we keep getting. Um, like technically that's a flip up sight. They could have made that a little bit metal. They could have actually added metal to this, but <laughs> anyway, um, this now is running at 320 FPS because I've just I uh, chrono it at my friend's because he's got a chrono finally got someone that's got a chrono but unfortunately I'm moving um, which is the news uh, as of the 28th I will be working as the technician at one of the stores of Tactical Edge um, so this is one of my dream jobs and I can't wait to start in saying that I will not be able to get anyone discounts um, Unless the boss says yes, and then other than that. But in saying that, um, I do get benefits, technically, but I probably won't use them. Um, only unless it's like a big giant game or something. Um, other than that, I'm getting well paid to go over up, go there, and work there. So, And work under the moose, or whoever decides to <laughs> be my manager. Um, I haven't been told the full details because I still got to do my induction and that, and that saying that um, I'm already feeling like I am becoming part of the Tech Edge family which I'm actually happy about because um, I ran into, prob into problems before I started moving I'm still haven't moved I gotta move um, I ran into problems they said it's okay um, they gave me a bit of extra time to fix up those problems that's one thing that I can tell about Tech Edge, they actually give a shit about you, which is a good thing. Um, other than that, guys, if you ever do have a chance to see me, say hi, say you watch my channel. <laughs> I don't honestly think a lot of you guys do watch my channel. I think you just watch it and go, ah, screw it. And just leave it on. Um, but other than that, this was the Minimai. And still is one of my favourite LMGs. If you call it a saw, I'm going to buttstock hit you so hard, you need a snack. This is a Minamai. Minamai, not saw. Minamai. Um, Australia, we call them Minamais because they actually created and actually named the Minamai. Um... In America, they're called saws because a different company actually creates the uh, bolt, act, uh, bolt and other internal parts for it. So then it changes to a saw. Other than that, this is the actual Minimai because I want to call it that because it is the body of a Minimai and the actual creators called it a Minimai. Um, other than that, I might as well take you through some of the buttons that it does have on it because it does have a dead switch, um, which is right up the back of the stock. She is a big boy. He or she, I don't know. It's up to you, whatever I want to call it. So that's your um, power button or power setting button. Um, I call it the safety because no battery, no power, no motor going boom. So 
no pew pew. Um, and then you got your mag button to release the mag, which is on your left hand side of the blaster. And you pull it back, it will release the mag. Um, the mag's gonna go out right from memory. No, it goes out left. Fucking hell, what am I doing? Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good even without it. Like, to be honest, I will eventually create a, my own design to run a tube going through a mock belt going into a backpack. Um, just because one of my friends um, suggested it and he actually wants to do it himself as well. Um, which, to be honest, it's not a bad idea. Um, also, I wish, I wish I want to find a company that will actually do this. See there, um, if you don't know on the saws and the minimize, you can actually run a uh, 5.56 M4 mag in the actual minimai. Um, they did this in Afghanistan and Iraq. I don't know if anywhere else. Um, my friends did do, use um, M4 mags in Afghanistan when they went. Um, but yeah, you can put a mag up here, still ejects from your mag ejection port, which is on the other side. Um, but basically your shells go in here or in there, either way. Um, that's on the real one, real still. Um, but other than that, I wish they did something about that, but they're too fucking stupid. Um, to be honest, I'm going to probably get a uh, hot knife and cut that so I can use that rail. But other than that, it's still pretty good. Um, it's still very fucking tough. Like, I've banged it around, thrown it around already. It's tough. Um, when I have all my components or sights and other stuff on it she a uh, heavy she's heavy um but anyway guys if you see me want to have a chat have a chat with me um if you see me on the 28th probably don't chat to me on that day um i'll try and do my best to talk to you guys if i can um but it's generally a busy day because it'll be my first day um but if you see me at hardcore say hi i'll probably be with brad um, generally because Brad is an actual decent friend that I do, um, when I went, um, I hang up, hung out with him and, um, some of the, uh, guys that play, uh, job, uh, ball at Hardcore, um, and thanks to Kathy, she's awesome, and thanks to the rest of the guys at Hardcore for having, or making uh, me and my missus have an awesome time. Uh, the missus will use her blaster when I get up there and we have a match. Um, God help me. Because I already know it hurts. That's how much power it has after I change this thing. But anyway guys, um, I'm going to leave it there. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have some fun. Um, and stay blasting. See yous!